Um, I think that Shondaland has always sort of operated in the same way, but I think with respect to the rest of the entertainment community, um, we've certainly seen um, film and television uh, outside of Shondaland cast differently, and I think now we have started the conversation about behind the scenes and below the line and the crews that staff these shows and staff these movies, we still have a long way to go. Um, but I think at least the conversation has been started that now below the line and behind the scenes, the crews have to start looking more like the real world. <laughs> I think what's happened is one of the positives we can take from it is that it's open dialogue when we just didn't have any dialogue. This, this, these things have been going on forever and now it's out. It's out of the bag. The genie's out of the bottle and so the dialogue has begun and my focus of interest is in global feminism. I'm interested in young girls and women living in absolutely intolerable oppressive circumstances who don't have a hope you know, for their future, who don't get access to uh, the things we take for granted. So my focus has been on the, the world, you know, so I call myself a global feminist. And the Me Too movement is incredible. And um, all of this is, is supportive in terms of my activism and my advocacy as a global feminist. Yes, and I think it's exciting that I, I've been doing the 10-year anniversary of Twilight and all these women around the world have literally come up to me and said, I was in a little town in Peru, I got your director's notebook, I saw that a woman was the director, I decided to be a director, and she now, this same girl from Peru, she has a film at the Academy, a short film that she did. So I can see that more people see myself or Patty or Ava doing something now. People are getting excited and their voices are being raised and we're going to hear more stories. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Nice to see you. One more time. You know what? There's never been a better time to be a woman, but as I think we're seeing on the grander scale of politics right now, it is a long road uphill still. Women are still not being believed. They are not being heard. These brave souls who stand up and say, this happened to me, and their testimonies are not only roundly ignored, but the men are then lauded as innocents. Um, it's, we gotta keep going because by the way, it's become very public in Hollywood, but start imagining the story of all those women who who are not on a beautiful red carpet in a pretty dress. All those women working in service industries across America. All those, all those women trying to get their children into America. Like there's, we got a lot of work to do, and we're shining a light on it. But we have to remember that we're we're part of like a huge story. Thank you. Oh, give me that big that big smile. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> 
over the shoulder. Over the shoulder. Over the shoulder. Over the shoulder.